Hello everyone and welcome. I hope you all are doing well. Please come along with me as I buy some McDonald's toys off of someone from Facebook Marketplace. Because it is Friday and I don't have a video for tomorrow. Now I'm not buying these just for a video, but I'm getting them so I might as well take you along with me. So I had secured the loot and at the sight of this Barbie's hair I was starting to worry that I had wasted my time and my money, but I'm going to try to remain neutral until I can get them home and take a look at all of the toys. All right, so here it is. Uh, was it worth $8? They had it listed for 10. I offered eight and he accepted. I guess we're about to find out. Let's go through it. So first we obviously have a lot of empty bags. I thought these were sealed, but I guess not. That's okay. That's fine. Let's see what we got. I think I'll put the bucket to the side. I did think the bucket was bigger in the pictures, but of course pictures are deceiving. So, so first we have this Miss Piggy toy from 1995. It doesn't say McDonald's on it though. I'm not sure if all McDonald's toys said McDonald's on them, but this looks like some sort of, I don't know, she's supposed to rock or float. I don't know. I'm sure lots of this stuff needs to be cleaned as well, so don't mind any of that. But here we have Little Miss Piggy. Here we have some Snow White dwarves. It just says Disney. It spins. I don't know which dwarves these are. I've never watched Snow White, to be perfectly honest with you. Here they are spinning. Ooh, that's kind of fun. <sighs> now this. <laughs> I'm pretty sad about this, honestly, because I was just at a thrift store yesterday, I think, and I saw her for a dollar and I was tempted to get her. Then I saw this whole lot and I saw her in there and I was like, yes, I'm going to get her. Her hair, guys, her hair. I mean, I think it's all here, but it's not in her head so I'm not sure what to do about that but we have from 94 McDonald's um this was a butterfly Barbie oh what's her name I thought her bag was in here that's cute you can spin this down here and the butterflies on her dress change color very cute just wish she had her hair Next, we have him. Is he from Pocahontas, I think? This is a Burger King toy. wonder if it still works. Wind him up and see. It does still work. Cool. Oh, oh, quiet. Quiet down. I think this is the raccoon. I don't know his name from Pocahontas. I've only seen Pocahontas like once or twice. I was never big into it as a kid. Next up, Animaniacs. I loved them. Let's see, what does this do? It's kind of like one of those fidget toys that you can get these days. Those little, you know what I'm talking about, maybe. So this doesn't appear to have a date or whether it was McDonald's, Burger King. Go, she's sitting on an anvil. She squished him. Catwoman. I actually already have this. I don't know where we got it. It's from 91 McDonald's. Had this, well, it's been my kids. They got it some where I'm not sure probably like a yard sale or something um we've had one of these for years so I guess now we have a second one big old Shrek let's see what does it say McDonald's 2010 there he is oh he makes noise or did sure his batteries have been dead for a while now big old space Mickey um it just says Disney on it he's kind of bendy and he has a hole because he probably stood on a platform of some sort not sure what year he is from but he's pretty cool ah uh, we got bobby from bobby's world i absolutely loved the cartoon bobby's world he is so cute what year is this don't see a year but i'm pretty excited to have him because i have i loved bobby's world oh he's got his little spider stuffed animal I think we have multiple bobby's world toys actually Yes, we do. Ah, oh, he's on his little tricycle. He can turn his head. Oh yeah, here we go, 94. Another Bobby on his tricycle. So we have two, I think they're identical. Yes. Ah, we have Pluto with some of our Barbie's hair wrapped around his neck. Or maybe that's Pocahontas' hair. There's a Pocahontas in there too. He's kind of st sticky and dirty. Don't know where he's from from there's no date or which restaurant but he's pretty cute he can go with mickey though i don't think they're from the same set i don't think they technically go together but we're gonna put them together because 
me. It's Mickey and Pluto. Another Bobby in a wagon this time. Can't tell you how excited I am about having these. Pretty excited about these. These are toys I didn't even know that I, I wanted, but now that I have them, like, super excited about it. We have Daff. Uh, who is this? Daphne? Daphne Duck? Daisy? I'm not really sure. Um, no year on this one either. It does say Epcot Center on it though. So is this not a McDonald's toy, but rather a figure you could buy at Epcot? I don't know. We have a Transformer. I assume that goes to this bag, Manta Ray, number five in the series. This is from 1995. It's pretty cool. So let's see if we can. How would you. Can he transform or is this just all he can do? Oh, he can go like that, I guess. That's kind of it. He doesn't really fold up in any way, I guess. You can just kind of flip his helmet down. We have another Pluto. Exact same one, but a little stained. We got a Pocahontas. So she can go with him, I guess. Um, let's see, I don't see a year or anything on her, her hair, at least it's intact, unlike the Barbie, I can give her that much. Another Miss Piggy, but this is a Muppet Babies, I loved Muppet Babies as a kid, she is very, very dirty, in desperate need of a cleaning, but I'm really excited to have her because I just absolutely loved Muppet Babies, I'll be excited to clean her up and put her on my shelf. Um going to say Aristocats. Not 100% certain. I think I've only seen Aristocats once, but it looks like a cat and he's making music. So I'm just going to say Aristocats. Ooh, his belly is fuzzy. That's interesting. We have a uh, Chippendale probably, but this is really cute. Uh, it looks like maybe it would attach to something else back here. I don't know. So we just see Disney, no year, but early 90s. Probably. Looking at him closer while I was editing, I noticed that he is in a measuring cup. You can see that it says one fourth cup. On the front is a little thimble, and on the back is a little thing of thread. I didn't even notice that when I was making the video. Ah, he is so cute. Adorable. And yeah, he is missing a propeller that would go in right here and one on the back. Ah, a Cabbage Patch Kid figure. This was obviously a Christmas toy that you could get. Um, this was 1992. Really happy to have this because I love Cabbage Patch Kids. You even have little yarn hair. So cute. Holding a green stocking and a little teddy bear. It needs a little bit of cleaning. It's a little sticky. But overall in good shape and super, super cute. I'm going to love having this on my shelf. Another Miss Piggy on her boat rocker thing. Another Bobby with hair all over him. This time in like a little log cart. It's 1995 on it. You can't turn his head or anything. His hair is very sticky. Oh my. Um... You know, I feel like I have some slight memory of this stored somewhere far, far in the back of my mind. Who is this guy? Why does his head look like this? Is this like some moon man? Obviously, it's a McDonald's toy because we have an M on the Jeep. Uh, if we look in there... Oh, wow. 1988. 1988. This is a year after I was born. I don't know. Who are you, sir? This is creepy, but um, kind of cool, I guess. Sure. Cool. Bobby! Guess, do we already have this one? Yes. <laughs> All right, it's a duplicate of Bobby on his rollerblades. Now this, I'm pretty sure, goes with one of these sets in here, a Flintstone set. Here is the set that hopefully goes to, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a sticker. Maybe the sticker came in the bag and you're supposed to put it on yourself. Pebbles and Dino, yes. Pebbles and Dino. That is who this is. Dino here, obviously, and Pebbles, and this was the Toys R Us. So I think there was supposed to be a sticker so that you could put it on the side, but it opens up here so that you can drive your little vehicle in. I'm pretty sure that's how all the sets were. You, there were a few different buildings, and it came with a car with characters. You could store the characters inside. So that's kind of cool. If it'll come back out. Will it come out? Yes, yes it will. So this is from, I know I saw a date somewhere. No, that's not the date. 
I know I saw a date, or maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm crazy. Well, there's a date on the bag at the very least, isn't there? 1993. I've been interested in these before, so I'm really happy to have one now. We are really filling up, but we still have more stuff to look at. We have another Bobby on his tricycle, so that makes three Bobbies on tricycles. Another Chippendale toy. This also says Epcot Center on it. Ooh, a cute little Mickey who is very, very dirty. He needs a bath, but that's okay. We'll take care of him. It just says China Disney on the back. He's super cute though. His nose, poor little nose. Hey, we got Hamburglar. Oh, this is so cute and in really good shape. This will be fun to have on my shelf. This is from 1995. Super excited to get him. I'm starting to think that my $8 was worth it. I'm pretty happy with a lot of these and we still have more. Disneyland 40th Mickey Space Mountain little car thing. It's actually like a little, um, what are those things called? Oh, I can't think of them, but you look at them and there's a picture. Let's see if we can see it. Ah, you can see a kid riding on Space Mountain. That's pretty cool. We have another Disneyland 40th here, Splash Mountain. Uh, what's his name? I'm not entirely sure, but let's take a look inside. There we go. I'm looking at the box and I'm seeing this bag, North Pole Explorer. Couldn't see everything that was in the box from the listing, but I did see this and I looked it up to see what it was. And honestly, I was kind of excited about this. Thought it appeared to have something in the bag at the time. Maybe they took it out because they decided they wanted to keep it. I don't know. But I was kind of excited about this because it looked kind of cool. It was like this little vehicle that opened up and inside was a tinier vehicle that could just like drive around. I'm kind of bummed that that doesn't seem to be here. <laughs> oh well. We have another Bobby's World Bobby on his skates. Now we have three of those. Plenty of Bobbies. We have Daffy Duck from 91, kind of rubbery and bendy. Is this another Chippendale, maybe, I think. This one's actually metal, so I'm not sure that this is a McDonald's toy at all. Um, definitely in desperate need of a cleaning but we can take care of that. Still really cute. We have this funny little car. Is that Porky Pig? Eh, not sure, but if you flip it over, you have somebody else. I feel like I should know who this is. It honestly reminds me of Taz, but it doesn't look like Taz. So I feel a little silly. It looks like some sort of sandwich. Porky Pig is in like a sandwich. I think that's Porky Pig. Sorry if I'm wrong. And you flip it and you have this guy in, what is that? Well, he's playing the guitar, so it's an amplifier. Yes, and you can see the wheels say volume. Oh, so you're like turning up the music. And then on this side, it looks like tomatoes. That's kind of cute, actually. This is from 1990, super cute. Guys, this is not Porky Pig. This is Hampton and this is Dizzy Devil. This is called Flip Car. These are characters from Tiny Toon Adventures. Not Porky Pig, Hampton, Dizzy Devil. Okay, that's all. Now we also did get some bagged, still sealed McDonald's toys. This is Daisy in Germany, which means this is also Daisy, not Daphne. I'm so sorry. Um, but since we already have one, I'll probably just keep her in the bag here because why not, I guess. Well, I guess this is a McDonald's toy then. The ones that say Epcot Center, I guess it was just the toys they were running at the time. Just Epcot Center Adventure at Walt Disney World from 1993. Also got a hunchback of Notre Dame toy. This was from Burger King. These are all the ones you could get. I Honestly, I feel like I'm pretty sure I had him at one point, though we didn't go to Burger King very much when I was a kid. So I'm not sure how I had him, but I'm pretty sure I did. This one is Esmeralda and it looks like it comes with little Jolly. How cute. I had the Esmeralda Barbie. I wish I still had that Barbie, but I guess we should open her up. It's already kind of ripped here. Let's go ahead and open it. Ah, here we go. This is from, no, don't know. It has wheels, which is kind of strange. Why is she wheeling around? Oh, it's a twist up. Why does she, oh, I guess she's dancing or something. 
You also get, it shows you how to twist her up so that she dances and become a kids club member. Aw, he's so cute. There he is. So cute. Here we have Sally's Secrets. I was pretty excited when I saw this was in the lot. This is from, I don't know, but the early 90s. I don't have the bag. The cool thing about her, she's actually a stamper. I need to get a piece of paper so we can try it out. All right, I have a little post-it here. So I guess we just stick it through here and push down. It works. She made a little heart on that side. And if we turn her around on this side, she makes a star. You know what's so weird? I didn't even know she was in this lot until I got there and found it and saw it. But I had just seen a TikTok about her right before going to get these. That's pretty cool. I'm really excited to have her. She just needs to get cleaned up and she'll be good to go. And look what else we also just happened to get in this lot. A Michael Jackson keychain. Obviously from the early 80s, based on the picture. The last thing we have to look at is a Muppet Workshop dog it's a figurine and two accessories this is from 1994 i saw this in the picture i went and looked it up and honestly looked kind of interesting so i'm pretty happy to get this i think this coupon has expired what do you think so what is this well i'm pretty sure if you got all of them or at least two of them whatever if you had more than one you could swap the pieces around so i know that the camera fits right there in front how I guess his face is just like on a hinge here. Bird goes on top. And then I guess since it's a Muppet, it's kind of like you're controlling that little part back there is for you. Oh, it has a little, has a little Kermit on there. So you could just kind of hold him like this and talk for him, I guess. And I guess you could put stuff inside there if you wanted to. I don't know. But yeah, I guess you could swap these pieces out among all the different little animal things you got. Kind of reminds me of like a Mr. Potato Head sort of thing. Very cute. Very, very cute. <laughs> so there you go, guys. All of the mostly 90s, a little 80s. 1-2000s McDonald's and Burger King toys that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. Do you guys think all of this was worth $8? I guess it depends on if you like any of these toys or characters or not. I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. Thank you guys for coming along with me and getting these with me and looking at them with me. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.